Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Yet another part of our most complete review about the Lincoln and Kazi. And now it's time for the good and the bad. The yin and the yang. The negative point and the positive point. Let's start right now with the negative points. First of all, well, when you're going to be sitting up in front, you will probably feel a little bit squeezed. Those are kind of sports seats. Even if you get a lot of adjustment, if you're kind of large like me, you will probably feel a little bit tight in those ones. And you cannot adjust the seat to give you a little bit of release like you would have in the Lincoln of the past. But hey, if you like performance driving, if you like to be hold on in the seat while you're gonna do a cornering, this is probably the seat that you're gonna love. You will also have the possibility to have a lot of adjustment and a massage. Well, that's a good thing. Space in the rear while you're gonna bring passenger with you. Be careful if they are tall. Well, it's gonna be a little bit tight for their head. The head space is not that generous. And when you're gonna open the door, it's gonna be probably a little bit hard for them to get out of the car. Don't worry, you don't have that problem up in front. It's gonna be a cold winter probably out there and you want your seat to heat you fast. That's a problem with the Lincoln right now. It takes time and it's not even minus 20 outside. So what's it's gonna be when it's gonna be really cold? You're gonna have to wait. Use your remote starter instead. There are also two or three little finishing thing that I don't really like inside. First of all, on the steering wheel, there's this moving part. I think we could have finished that a little bit better. When you look also at the LED lights in the rear, you can see some flickering. And the one last thing, when you look at the spoiler, it's not the same color of the car. Was it an accident and somebody repaired the spoiler, giving it a new paint, but it didn't color match? I don't know. But if your car is like that, if your MKZ is like that, feel free to share in the comments down there below. Also, be careful if you go for the hybrid version, get prepared because it's not as powerful as this 3.0 liter. Another thing, you need to put 93 octane fuel to get the better performance of nearly every engine in the lineup of the MKZ. So if you want 400 horsepower, 93 octane. But here in Canada and even more in Quebec, it's rare. I didn't find any. I need to use 91, so I cannot exploit the full power of that engine. I'm kind of sad. On the plus side, we're well, talking about power. 400 horsepower in that 3.0 twin turbo. Wow. I love to see many horsepower in a car. I love what they did. And I also love the choice. Either you go hybrid 2.0 or twin turbo power. Wow, that's good. Also, it's really well equipped. When you look at all the options that you can have in the car for the price, if you compare it with other cars in the segment, let's say BMW, Mercedes-Benz, well, it's gonna be cheaper and you will have a lot of equipment with that car. Acceleration are really good. Transmission is doing an awesome work. And how about all-wheel drive? When you're gonna be cornering, you will feel that all-wheel drive working for you. Same thing with the suspension put it into comfort mode, you will be happy with all the potholes on the road and put it into sports mode when you're gonna see a nice corner up in front of you. The look of this car is really unique. It even reminds me of some German car. I know, you think about it too, huh? <laughs> you also have that great opening with the sunroof, which is huge. And when it's open, you really get that unique look to see the sunroof up there in the back windows. You've got also a good warranty with the car. Four years, 80,000 kilometers, bumper to bumper. For the engine and the transmission, all wheel drive, everything which is taking a bath in the oil, it's gonna be six years and 110,000 kilometers. So now, how about Matt's grade? I'm gonna give it a B plus and it's well deserved. The MKZ will connect you easily. You will be able to master this system with the snap of a finger, you've got some great option, you've got a unique styling and a nice design, and when you step on the pedal of the 3.0 twin turbo, you will see that car is moving and probably scared some guys at the red light who would say, wow, what was that car? Oh, too late, it's gone. So there you go, what do you think about the new Lincoln MKZ? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. Don't forget if you want to see more of our most complete review out there, there's a playlist in the description. 
feel free to do a thumbs up also and don't forget to subscribe right there in the corner to car question because there's more video coming for you guys see you later